How you doing? My name is Adisa Van Joko. I'm a purple belt at Heroes Martial Arts, and I'm going to show you a series I've started playing with called the Iron Hook to the King Tut. It's uh, a theme I started working on, uh, learning under my instructor, Alan Gumby Marcus, and uh, reading some stuff out of a book by Kid Calabro. And so I kind of adjusted the grip a bit and started coming up with some things, and I want to share them with you because I think that you'll find them uh, beneficial for you. This particular grip, the iron hook, both breaks posture and uh, keeps your opponent off center, which is which is good for you on the bottom. So let's take a look at the uh, way we get there and the submission from it. Call the King Tut. So I have Kyle here in my uh, closed bar, and normally, uh, if you're a blue belt or above, you already know about the sit-up sweep, right? So it comes off of a failed sit-up sweep. Walk it up. He doesn't let me have it. I sit up again. Let me have it. Now the third time I sit up, I'm not going to reach over this shoulder. I'm going to reach over this shoulder, come under the arm, and grab that lapel. Okay? So I sit up. He comes against me. As I fall back, I see that grip, and I go ahead and sit. Now, everybody knows how the next series begins. We start with this uh, choke attempt here, and I expect him to defend it. As he defends, I grab the tail end of his sleeve, pulling his elbow across my chest. As I do that, I release this overhook, spider walk my hands over, tuck my hips out, and now I'm gripping his biceps with my right hand over his left arm, and this is the, this is the iron hook, because we went from a regular overhook to the iron hook, which traps both hands with one. Now, obviously, from an MMA situation, you could do this all day, which is awesome, because it improves striking ability from the closed guard. But that's not what we're going for. We're going for a submission, the king cut. I sit up into my opponent, reach over his head, and I grab his wrist. It is important not to grab the sleeve. You have to grab the wrist. What I'll do is, if I have any question about how deep I'm grabbing, I'll just tuck it out, pull it out as I tuck my hips back. Now, I'm going to undo this grip on the hand, reach into his knee, and start a flower sweep. But instead of finishing the sweep, I reclose the guard because I want my torso to completely shut off his right arm. Now I fold this hand down. Listen for the tap because usually you have a hand trapped. So listen for the tap or a scream or something. And then, uh, there it is. Okay, so that is the king tut. Remember, you have to grab the complete wrist. You do not want the sleeve because there's just too much room for him to go with that. Okay? So that is how it works. I'm going to show you one more time how to get there. You sit up and reach over, under. You begin the choke. He defends the choke. You grab the sleeve, pull the elbow across, walk the hands over, hip out, reclose the guard. That's the iron hook. If your hip bone is not against the back of his elbow, it's not the iron hook. It's just a, a grip. It's only the iron hook once you have hipped out and reconstituted the guard. Okay? Once again, we reach over the back. You see the wrist. Like I said, if you have to, if you have to adjust a little bit, that's fine. Pulling the wrist out. Release the hand. Reach in for like a half a flower. Reconstitute the guard, fold it, tuck. and there it is. Iron hook to the king tuck. That's what I'm talking about. Zero's martial arts. We're going to do a gilas in one second. If you're gilas and you can't get the king tuck, I actually think the, the tut is best gilas. Because uh, the geese sometimes can be a little bit cumbersome and gets in the way of it. But uh, you already know about the sit-up sweep, so I'm just going to sit up. Remember, if you do a gila though, arm highs up into the armpit as you can, and your hand is going to come on your chest like you're pledging allegiance to the flag. So you sit up, bring him back, using your legs to bring him back, right? I'm not just using my, my torso. I'm bringing him to me here. So this time, though, there's no choke. You don't have to worry about that because his hand is going to come straight on your chest because he's trying to get his arm back. As soon as you do that, you still do the same thing. Right? Pull it across. Make sure you hip out. I can't stress that enough. I reach over. For whatever reason, I get the wrist. But um, 
I don't feel comfortable trying for the for the for the for the touch. I don't know why. Maybe it's too strong, stuff's too slippery, whatever. What you do is when you release the hand, if he has any remote sense of what's about to happen, what's about to happen to him, or just the nature of this bad position in general, he's gonna pull his left arm out and start to post himself up, and you're gonna go with him, right? Back to like a hip hip sweep, and you're gonna extend that arm. When you extend that arm, now my right hand is gonna go into this hole that I've created through the extension, grabbing my own arm. I'm gonna pull it to me, and there it is. Notice the key to this submission, this choke is in bringing my legs to me so that he has to base out on his own neck, all right? Don't let him sit away from you, all right? So there goes the uh, iron hook to the choke. Got to dig it, iron hook to the king tut. I want to thank all my homies, Kyle, Chris, Heroes Martial Arts team. This is how we do it, Hip Hop Chess Federation. Have a blessed day. Try it out with your friends. See if it works. I like it. I think you will too. Thank you.